If you want to import drugs into Ireland, you should just do it in style. On a book, a luxury cruise, on a liner such as this, come in here to Cove, there's no checks take place. You can walk straight onto the quay, bring bags which you'll bring all kinds of luggage, and there's no obstruction. In fact, if you were worried about it, the solution to that is if you look up at the upper decks, these cruise liners come in here regularly, a few every week, and from the top, you have a kind of a panoramic view of all the streetscape, even of the Garda barracks behind us. So you'll be guaranteed the coast will be clear. Now, I'm saying this with kind of tongue-in-cheek, uh, but it's the truth. You can, and there is no checks here. I've been on the quay here for over four years. Every single time these cruise liners arrive into Cove, and uh, once in that period have I seen customs and excise officials will do a report on this later on again giving some more detail but only once in four years with hundreds of ships coming in each year this one has in excess of 3,000 passengers and maybe 1,500 crew members and this particular ship in case anyone thinks we're exaggerating has a long history um, in of involvement if you like with drug trade or being used by drug barons and this is a critically serious problem in Ireland. Young kids all over Ireland and every town and village are caught in the, the trap of drug taking, destroying their lives, sometimes losing their lives, families being devastated, homes being wrecked, people's future and their health being damaged permanently. Why? Because our country is flooded with drugs. It's a major problem. So to have such an international port here in Cove without proper security and without customs and excise presence to check every single passenger, then what we are doing is announcing to the world, announcing to the drug barons in Brazil and elsewhere, that look, Ireland is open, you can come here. And they've been doing that. What prompted this report has actually been kids on the street here in Cove and in Cork telling us where the drugs are coming from and Cove is named big time. We have also seen, um, and it, it's a worrying matter, um, a lot of state involvement. We saw it with the Hutch trial. We've seen it before in countless convictions where senior members of Angarda Shikona have been involved with the drug gangs. And is that why there's nobody here today? When we asked the customs officials uh, two weeks ago, the one day they did turn up, they complained they're short of staff, and we accept and understand they are. But that's not good enough. It's not good enough to have our our state and uh, public health exposed in this manner. And just to give a little a little background, excuse me while I look at my notes here. People might recall a number of years ago, uh, Channel Four did an, did a a comprehensive report involving this particular ship, uh, Costa Favoloso, um, in which there was, they described a virtual or actual orgy all over involving nearly all the passengers and crew. Some were quoted as saying, it's easier to get a bag of coke than to buy a beer. There were people lying on decks, all kinds of debauchery taking place on this ship. Now I say that knowing that Every one of the cruise liners that we've been able to find out has an active, strict policy against drugs. Obviously, it meant very little on Costa Favoloso uh, then. And since then, uh, I'll just give out some of the other liners that have been involved. In March 2015, Costa Pacifica, uh, routine checks that took place on people disembarking, uh, re revealed and found drug caches. In December 2018, the Marco Polo in Portugal, nine kilograms of cocaine. Uh, a number of people, uh, Roger Clark and his wife in their 70s, apparently um, have a long history of convictions. They're in prison now. Uh, they've been using it regularly to import drugs. In April 22, Costa Diema, Diema, if I'm pronouncing that, six were arrested with um, 30 kilograms of cocaine uh, whilst boarding in Brazil. In April 22 again, MSC Seaside 
10 were arrested from two separate Brazilian cartel gangs with 20 and 34 kilograms, worth over 3 million euros. Dogs found it. In 2023, in May this year, Costa Favlova, just a few weeks ago, um, was uh, four people were arrested, found with 95 kilograms of cocaine in their room. In the same incident, uh, two of the four who were arrested had actually succeeded in landing an additional 95 kilograms of cocaine, worth, worth in excess of $5 million. Where these fines took place, it was hand in glove. There were security taking place. There were checks on passengers. Dogs were used. The reason we should have visible checks is so that the message exists that you cannot come here and think you can import drugs freely. That's not what's been happening. So I want to use this video to call on the Minister for Justice, to call on the Garda Commissioner, to call on Revenue, who manage customs and excise, to put in place proper customs and Garda security clearance for people arriving into Ireland today. Um, international security is an issue. We were here, I mean, several mornings. It's not unusual to see vans lining up here and heavy baggage being taken off the ships and driven away and never a guard at present. Now, this morning, one member of Angarda Shikana did board the ship. I'm not quite sure if he slipped off behind me since then. One did board the ship, but there's been no security checks. Some passengers have disembarked we notice with passports in their hands. So we don't know who's looking at them, if anybody. Uh, but if it's not members of Angarda Shikona, then it's not a security check. So we'll, as I say, report on this again, because we're going to take the issue up directly uh, with revenue and with members of Angarda, with Angarda Shikona management to try to see why is this gap in our national security unplugged. We want it stopped. It's for the safety and well-being of the Irish people. Gonna